Now I know what I'm up against. If he comes back, and I won't be alone, it's gonna get pretty uncomfortable. I'd better take a look at the patients now. What the hell's happened here? He's unconscious. Uh-huh. That's Valley Sedernal. An extremely powerful sedative. Young must have given him that. I'll have to give him the antidote. Look at that. Me showing up shook him so much he left the cockpit unlocked. I need the sedative so I can find out the correct antidote. Valacetinol. Ten milliliters of akinetrin will work against that. I'll take enough for all of them with me. They'll be awake again in a few hours. Unconscious. That's it then. My God. Okay. I don't believe it. Right then. He's unconscious as well. Okay. Okay, now I just have to wait a short while. Ah, you're awake again. The doctor. I know. He gave you something, all of you. I feel awful. I've injected you with an antidote. You'll feel better soon. I'm scared. I don't want to go there. Go where? What did Dr. Young say? We're being moved to another hospital. What? To which one? Did he tell you that? Neurosurgery clinic, I think. Neurosurgery? You sure? Yeah. That's what he said. What'll they do with us there? Neurosurgery. That's where they open up your head, right? That... that can't be right. I can't imagine that. You must have misheard him. They're not going to operate on us, Doc, are they? I wouldn't let them do that. I'll get you out of here. Listen, son, the way things are looking, I'm not going to be able to get in here much longer. We've got to finish this investigation. And then, you've got to get out of here. You remember what we talked about last time? Yeah. Good. Now, relax. We're almost there. It's vital that we make it. Okay. Yeah. Concentrate. And tell me what you see. Before you were in the kitchen, what happened?
And that's it. Something happened to you guys when you were sitting at that computer. Something changed you. Oh, damn it, I've got to get out of here right now. I'll be back soon. Ah. And that's it. Hi. You're looking good. Don't bother. It's over. Come on. Let me at least... No, it's too late. And who is he? I didn't want to come alone. You scare me. I'm sorry. Goodbye. What are you doing here? Oh, I understand. Now yeah, you've worked that out real nice. You're lost. Say, isn't that... Mr. Flynn. Good evening, sir. Can I ask what all this is about? What, what are my cases doing out here? Your room has been cleared, sir. On the instructions of the hotel management. You're not serious. I am sorry, sir. So, where am I going to get a new room now? Sir, I have my instructions. Well, great. But this is not the end of it. You tell your boss that, okay? Can you tell me where I'm supposed to go with this stuff now? In this weather? Shall I call you a cab? No. Thank you. I'll manage. As you wish. Goodbye, sir. That's really great. And what am I supposed to do now? Wait, the bags.
I have to get rid of the bags first. Doc, you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. So what's with the luggage? I had a little, uh, problem at the hotel. Uh-huh. A drink? Not now. Randall, can I leave my bags here until I find a new place? You're really worrying. What did you do? I don't know myself. I'm getting tired of all this, I can tell you. There are a couple of people who are really in deep shit. Maybe you better give Riker his piece back, Doc. No, I need it. That doesn't sound good. What's with the bill? How the hotel can sue me, I don't care anymore. Your bill here, with me. Oh, listen, you'll get your money, Randall. I gotta go now. So what's the plan, Doc? You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you? Who knows? Nobody there. Okay. But that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Keep it down. Now I'm on my own. Okay. Let's do it. Mr. McNamara, I've been expecting you. You have, have you? Give me your keys, please. Your work here is finished. We've already discussed this. I'm keeping the keys. I'm going to go and do my work now. You're not going anywhere. Step aside, Doctor. Or what? Or we're going to have a really big problem here. You're threatening me? You don't seem to understand. Your time here is up. The patients are being moved to Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning. Washington? Why haven't I been informed? I'm informing you now. That should be enough. To which clinic? That's of no importance to you. We're waiting for a special transport unit which is arriving this evening. I must ask you to remain here until then so that the handover passes off as smoothly as possible. You will have the opportunity then to discuss your dismissal. That should be very... enlightening. There'll be a representative from the authorities? What can I say? There'll be somebody there who'll be able to rule on your case. Please stay on the premises until then. I've had the gates locked already. We'll see about that. I'll be back soon. Okay, Doctor. I'm back. What the hell? Put that gun down at once. I'm sorry, Doctor. I cannot accept what you're doing here. What you've planned. Don't be ridiculous, David. You'll end up in jail. I think it's more like you who's going to end up in jail. You're so hopelessly naive, David. You'll see soon enough who you're going to be dealing with. I hope so. I'd like you to move along to the cockpit, Doctor. You too, tomorrow. And slowly. What do you want to do? Shoot us? If you're not going to cooperate, that could happen. Fire away if you like. I've got nothing to lose. Nor do I, Doctor. Believe me. To the cockpit. Now. Sit on the chair. And if I don't? Sit down! You too, Tamara. And hands behind your backs. You're not going to get away with this, David. We'll see.
Ah, there you are at last. The doctor was here. I know. Don't worry, he's not coming back. Where is he? He's... sleeping. What if he wakes up again? He's gonna sleep for 24 hours, son. You doped him up? Exactly. We'll be undisturbed. For quite a while. Listen, your fellow patients are still unconscious, but they'll wake up soon. We'll have another session now. And then? Then you're getting out of here immediately. I don't have any clothes. Doesn't matter. You're out of here right away. Where to? Doesn't matter where. Just away from here. But... We'll discuss that in a minute. Now, let's get on with the session. You remember meeting up in the computer room, yes? Yeah. Think back to the time just before. I must know where you guys were and exactly what you were doing. What was running on the computers? What happened to you? Why were you there? And why was it you five? I can't do it anymore, Doc. I'm scared. I have to know. Please, try. Okay. There... There's this kitchen again. Dear friends, thank you for coming. You know why you're here. Cyclops Industries has selected you to take part in their current project, which is a world's first. It was critical for us only to accept the brightest and most talented people, so you can be proud of yourselves. Being able to take part in the tests in our revolutionary program is an honor offered only to a very few people. No expense has been spared in making the setting for this test. An unusual, themed, and completely shielded environment. For a period of one week, you will remain completely undisturbed here in Fort Tilden. It's up to you when, how often, and for how long you test Goliath. Our only condition is that you follow the test through to its conclusion. Sufficient provisions have been supplied as well as beverages and all necessary equipment. You know that cell phones and other communication devices are forbidden. For your own security, the entire complex has CCTV surveillance. We will be on hand should any emergency arise, so please have no concerns about that. So, that's everything. Any questions? None? Very good. Then may I thank you all. Goliath is ready. Good luck. It's a test then. A test for some software? In Fort Tilden. That's on the peninsula in the bay, right across from Manhattan. Yeah, right. That's where we were. And this man? What's the name of his company? I... can't remember anymore. Ah. But this program that you were all using... That seems familiar to me. Come on, let's finish. You guys have to get out of here. I don't know if I can. You've got to. Come on, come on! Okay. There's no way you guys can stay here. I'm going to let you go. Make sure that you make it through. The best thing for you is to split up and hide for a few days. What you gonna do? I'm going across to Fort Tilden. Don't do it, Doctor. They'll kill you. Don't worry about me. Take care, guys. Where are we gonna meet you? There's a bar on Rivington Street. It's called the Nighthawk. Let's meet up there in a few days. Tell the bartender that the doc sent you. Let's get going. Good luck. That was close. I've lost all my stuff. PDA's gone too with all my recordings. Oh, bummer. All my recordings gone. 